Don't make the same mistake I did most of my playthrough and ignore the skill inheritance system. Inheriting skills allows you to take skills from other archetypes you've unlocked and put them on another archetype at the cost of some mag, of course. Stuff isn't free. This feature allows some pretty interesting and potentially broken builds later in the game, so let me show you some of the best skills to inherit as you progress through this game. Having steel as an inherited skill is a must because some of the enemies carry some really powerful gear and even useful items. And, since you can restart the battle at any time during your turn, you can continue to reset until you get the item you desire from the enemy. Do not sleep on this skill, trust me. I've gotten some really useful items and weapons from enemies that have been super helpful. I used Gold Attack, then when I unlocked the Tycoon archetype, I moved up to the Gold Rush skill. Inheriting one of these is something I highly recommend doing ASAP because they do weak slash heavy almighty damage with high crit rates. While normally skills cost HP or very very precious MP, these skills cost money. But if you follow my guide on the best way to farm money, it will not be an issue. It's also worth noting the almighty damage has no weaknesses, so that with a high crit chance makes these skills a must have. It's pretty much pay to win. This passive skill is unlocked when the mage reaches rank 11, and it raises the max MP of the user by 15%. And because MP is so useful and hard to recharge while in a dungeon, Having a bit more is never a bad thing. Because MP is so important in Metaphor Re Fantasio, it's definitely important to have this inherited on all of the party if you can. The Patra and Dakunda skills might be different skills, but they both have very important uses, so I'm going to classify them as one since I highly recommend having them inherited. These both can be unlocked in the healer archetype at rank 5 and 13 respectively, and Patra will cure any status ailment from any ally, and Dekunda will remove any debuff from any ally. Many of the bosses in this game love to throw things like debuffs and status ailments at you, so having these can come in handy so you aren't relying on recovery items. Unlocking the wizard archetype is a must, and I stand by the fact that the mage and wizard archetypes are probably some of the best archetypes up until late, late in the game. With the wizard archetype, you have access to upgraded elemental skills like Batra, Blizza, and Kendra, which is medium, fire, ice, and electric damage. These only cost 10 MP and are unlocked at wizard rank 1, 2, and 6, so get these ASAP. If you want to know the best strength build in the game, check out this video right here, and I'll see you over there.